All right, if you have a Lexmark printer and it's not printing, here's a couple of easy steps you could take to fix your own printer. All right, now first thing I would do is hard reset it. A soft reset is when you turn it off and on or hit the reset button. A hard reset is when you actually unplug everything. So I would unplug the, the power to the power cord, unplug from the printer so it's turned off. Wait about a minute and on your wireless um, router, D-Link or Netgear, whatever you have, unplug that as well for a full minute, the power I mean, and then also reset your PC. So you want to reset that and make sure, reset, restart it, okay? So once it's done that for over like a minute or so, First thing you want to do is turn on your PC, turn on the router, and make sure all the lights are on the router so the router is all booted up. It takes a couple minutes for the router to boot up. And then plug in the power to your Lexmark printer, your wireless printer. Okay? So once you do that and it's still not working, the next step is to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you is to go and reconfigure the wireless printer and but you need the USB data cable to do so alright so it looks like that if you don't have that then go ahead and get one from a neighbor a friend or just buy one for 10 bucks at Radio Shack alright but make sure you have that because without that then you're kinda screwed because your PC is gonna have to reconfigure your printer okay and it can't do that without a data cable. So I'm going to show you the next step. Alright, so if this light is orange, that means it has no communication with the, the router. The wireless communication is gone, okay? But if it's green and it's still not printing, then you might not be on the same network. So you want to check and make sure, I say this is on Netgear network router and this is on the D-Link network router. You're on the wrong routers. So the router is basically um, the bridge. So if it's on a different bridge, it's not going to communicate with each other. Okay. So make sure you're uh, when you go down here, when you click on down here, you'll see the the like arrows. I mean, I'm sorry, the wireless bars. And the wireless bars will let you know. You just double click on that, and it'll tell you what network you're on. Okay. So make sure you're on the same network. Next step is click on the start button, click on printers. Okay, now from this point on, you want to make sure you're on the right, right here, the right device, your icon. So right here, it says that I'm on the network, Lexmark network. And there's also Lexmark USB. So if you want to use the USB data cable, right click that, okay and set as default alright so every time you hit control if you hit control P to print it'll default to the USB so your USB data cable has to be plugged in for that but if you want a wireless right click that set as default and now it's on the network wireless network also right click that and go to printing pre preferences sorry about that and do quick print do a quick print and then uh, click on print in black and white. They'll save you money on ink. And then hit OK to save. Alright. Alright, if you're still having issues after that, what you want to do is, alright, go ahead and X out of that. And go down here to the start button. You can click on down here. Just type in Lex Mark. All right, and when you do that, you could click on Lexmark Service Center. Or what you could do is just go to here, start button, all programs, scroll down under accessories, and it should say Lexmark somewhere around here. Lexmark right here. And then click on Service Center. All right, this menu will come up. This is like a little wizard to help you out. It's pretty cool, works really good. All right, just click on the one you want to configure. Network. 
hit next. We have a printing issue. So click on print. Is there an error message on the computer screen? You can just say yes. And it's go ahead and um, not attached. No, let me see. I think what's the most accurate. The wireless communication is not available. Let's try that one. Hit OK. It's printing on. Yes, the printer is on. Yes. How is it connected? Uh, we want to connect a wireless network. Hit OK. Um, all right, if it's orange, that means there's no communication. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, configure that. So solid orange. Right, it's solid green right now because it's working. But let's just say it's orange and, and there's no communication and something got screwed up. All right, so go ahead and hit OK. Do you know the, um, the name of your network router? Click on yes. Do you know the key? Click on yes. WPA password for your router. If you don't know it, it uh, might be a sticker on the back of your Netgear or a D-Link, or you might have to call up your service provider, Comcast or Brighthouse, or if you have ATT or Verizon, call them. They might be able to reset it or help you out. All right, click on yes. Uh, click on the button. Yes. All right. This is going to kickstart it right here. Once you do that, you should get this menu. If you don't get that menu, look on your bottom tray and uh, see if you can find it there. Hit yes. All right. And then hit continue. This is the wizard. You're going to need, from this point on, you're going to need the USB data cable, which is right here. So you want to go ahead and plug that in. Okay, and then I'll start searching for uh, your wireless network. It takes about 30 seconds, so I'm going to spare you the time. All right, so once it finds it, your network, go ahead and click on it. All right, and then go to continue. All right, and from this point on, you want to put in your web key or your password of your router. I'm not going to show you mine, obviously. I'm not stupid. But uh, go ahead and plug in your password and then hit continue again. And then you'll get that. Once you put that uh, password in and click on OK, it'll start uh, resetting your printer and reconfiguring. All right. And then you're golden. And you know, that this orange light will turn green during that process. Make sure this cable is plugged in securely if it uh, unplugs and you have to go through it all over again big pain in the ass all right so we're halfway there so far now it's going to acquire the network address and then it's going to actually connect to the printer to the pc through the, the router which is the network router when they mean network it's pretty much the router. All right, so once that's done, it's going to ask you to remove the cable. All right, so let's go ahead and remove that. Sayonara. And then boom, connection successful. All right, and it's going to tell you that you should have a green light and just click on finished. And then boom, we have a green light. So we're golden. Click on finished. That solved the problem. Thanks for watching. Post a comment. Hit the like button if this helped you out, and subscribe to Tampa Tech for future videos like this about TV and PC and all that good stuff.